The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ulukayode Ariwola, has reportedly been embroiled in the controversy after alleged confidential phone conversation involving him. Bola Tinumbu, the former governor of Lagos State and a prominent figure in the All Progressive Congress, APC, the Director General of the Department of State Services, DSS, Yusuf Bichi, and two other Supreme Court judges, justices were leaked to U.S. authorities, according to reliable sources. These leaked conversations are said to contain discussions related to a potential rerun election. The revelation of this private conversation has sent shockwaves through Nigeria's political landscape and has had significant repercussions. The content of these discussions allegedly revolves around the possibility of a rerun election, indicating the potential electoral disputes or uncertainty in the near future. As a result of the leaked information, two additional Supreme Court justices have been included in the list of seats already banned by the United States from entering the country. The action has brought the total on number of justices banned to eight, casting further doubt on the integrity and independence of Nigeria's judiciary. The justices of Nigeria, Olukayode, is alleged to have informed Bola Tinubu and the APC to prepare for a rerun. This comes after three private phone conversations between him, Tinubu, the DA, DG of, of DSS, Yusuf Bichi, and two other justices of the Supreme Court were leaked. Hmm. Okay. So, the leak of this confidential conversation has raised serious concerns about the privacy and security of sensitive information within the Nigerian government and judiciary. Chief Justice Ulukayo de Arewala, being head of the Nigerian judiciary, is expected to uphold the principles of fairness, impartiality, and transparency in all legal matters. The alleged discussion regarding a rerun election. A rerun election with influential political figures have led to suspicions about the judiciary. Judiciary's involvement in Nigeria's political affairs, potentially comprising the trust and confidence citizens have in the judicial system. The implications of the leaked conversation have also triggered debates on the need for stricter measures of sega to safeguard sensitive government's communications and protect the country's institutions from external interference. Additionally, it has sparked discussions on the importance of maintaining an independent and unbiased judiciary that operates without any external influence or pressure. The involvement of the prominent political figures, including Bola Tinumbu, adds further complexity to the situation. As a key player in the APC and a prominent political leader, Tinubu's alleged involvement in discussion related to a rerun election raises questions about the party's intentions and plans, leading to speculation about the political climate and potential power struggles within the ruling party. The ongoing controversy has put pressure on the Nigerian authorities to investigate the source of the leaked conversations and hold those responsible accountable really. The government's response to the incident will be crucial in addressing concerns about privacy and ensuring that sensitive information is adequately protected to prevent similar leaks in future. Furthermore, the incident has the potential to impact Nigeria's international reputation, particularly concerning the country's commitment to upholding the rule of law and the judicial independence. <laughs> In conclusion, the alleged leak conversation involving the justice of Nigeria, Bola Tinumbu, other prominent figures have sparked a significant controversy, raising concerns about the judiciary's independence, government's privacy, and the potential implications for Nigeria's political landscape. The situation calls for a thorough investigation and a retreation of the commitments to upholding the rule of law. And protecting sensitive government communications, it is essential for the Nigerian authorities to address these issues promptly and transparently to restore public confidence in the nation's institutions. Mm. <laughs> Liars, please declare the rightful winner. We move all this restless, 
Let's of Obi will take him nowhere. Is he Obi? <laughs> I'm sure it is the Obi that is making you to buy for a four. 617 naira now. Mm. It is Obi that is making you to do that. So they want to try to protect it in uh, whatever. Who were the ones behind or the people behind the leak audio of a Pisabi and uh, Bishop Oedipo? I'm beginning to wonder the rationale behind the conversation between the Chief Justice of Nigeria and Bola Tinubu with the DSS boss. With the way things are going now, even the rerun of the election will be far from being transparent, free, fair, and unless if the military is handed the responsibility to conduct the election with strict protection of the electorate in every polling unit across the country, APC hoodlums will see the ray the expectations of Nigerians, especially in Lagos. Yes, so. This one sweet me far. Why suggesting the rerun? Is it so that uh, more people will be eat, beaten up and disenfranchised like what happened in Lagos State? Let them declare the rightful winner with fat from INEC. Nigerians will support the person no matter his religion or tribe. I don't even know what is wrong with our leaders and politicians. Call it speed is speed. Let's make Nigeria great again. People of Nigeria which to hear the voices which to hear the voices in the leaked conversation between governments and judiciary niger is doomed those are calls for rerun are uh, politically naive those that are calling for rerunning or rerun why are they afraid to declare will be the winner of this election so guys let's know what you think thanks for your always being there